what's up Granos and Granettes, Juan Granos, back again, this time with another review. As you can see, the studio is starting to look like a studio finally, I finally painted that wall, I'm probably going to figure out what I'm going to do up here, and I think I'm just going to leave that frame there. Um, I do have a table back there, which I'm working on a live show that is going to come really soon, but enough about that, let's talk about today's review. Now, today I'm going to be talking about a device that I've been using in my home for the last six months. I reached out to the company who makes it, um, uh, Connected Consumer Fuel, and I asked them to send me a demo copy. I shouldn't really say a demo because it's not a demo, it's a working copy, um, so I could give it away to you guys. So, without further ado, the Smart Oil Gauge, trademark. Um, basically, this little particular device you will put it in your um, oil tank. Um, this fits right in, in most oil tanks. Now, I believe, uh, you know, the different sizes, you know, that you have the 138, the 220, the 240, the 275, the 300. This will all fit in your tank. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a um, quick unboxing, and I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to try to get and see. Uh, the, the one reason I'm going to show you guys the, the major reason why I needed this. First of all, if you own a oil tank in your home, you know that you have to, you know, unless you have a contract with a company, you have to go downstairs, check every time to see where the gauge is and how much oil you're going to need. Um, and, you know, it's just a hassle, you know. Sometimes those little gauges, after a while, um, you know, it's just a little ball that floats on top of the oil. They don't work the way the ship work. This is like super duper accurate. Again, I'm going to show you guys. I have my phone here, which of course is, is connected to your phone and it's also connected to Alexa. Okay, she didn't hear that. Um, so this is, I, I can't wait to show you this guys. So let me just go through a quick unboxing of the item. So here it is. Um, it's a Wi-Fi ultrasonic heating oil gauge, meaning that it, it, it basically does like a ping. It sends a ping down to your tank and it pings back up and it basically that's how it calculates how much oil is in your tank it works like a charm that's what I have to say a um, couple of things right off the box like I said it works with Alexa uh, yes uh, quiet don't say anything okay good um, um, and like I said you, it fits in different tanks it fits with 225 um, 135 240s 275s and 330s. It does work with the vertical tanks as well as the horizontal tanks. Um, they do sell an adapter if you need it. Now this comes in a two inch. Um, it's a two inch fitting. So basically where you have your, your gauge right now, that's where this will fit. Um, batteries included, no monthly feed, so you don't have to pay a feed for this service. I mean, I, I, I don't understand how can they actually do this and you know, and make money but this does sell like hotcakes now like I said it does use either Android or iPhone um, to to check your your oil tanks um, you know balance or I should say your your gauge um, so let's just go into it let me jump into it and of course right here on the top it shows you um, the fitting size this particular one is obviously two, two inches but they do sell a uh, a step down to one and a half inch so let's see what we got here First, we have the quick start guy. Now, the one thing I have to tell you guys, the guys at our Consumer Oil, they are super helpful. If you contact them with any issues, they'll get back to you right away and they'll try to help you out. So, check this out. This is it. This is the unit. Um, pretty simple. Here it is. Very cool. Now, like I said, you have this little, this is basically like a radar. It sends, it's um, not a radar, sorry, a sonar. It sends a ping down to the bottom of your tank, sends it back up, and it tells you how much oil is in your tank. Um, this basically screws right on that piece that I was telling you about where you have your gauge on now. Um, the way it goes, you open this top piece right here, you unscrew it. It does come with a battery already in it. And you know what? I'm going to be giving this one away. So, uh... I'm going to leave you the instructions on the bottom. Uh, basically, you're just going to have to uh, maybe uh, share this video and we'll just pick somebody. But you have to tell us where you share the video so we know who share it, where, and then we'll enter you to get it. I'm going to give it away in about a month. So here's the battery. And the batteries, I believe they said that they, they last up for six months, probably more. I guess it all depends. You know, it's the wintertime here in New York. The wintertime lasts about four to maybe 
five months depending on how uh, how much the glaciers are, <laughs> are melting um, so um, basically you turn it on you switch it on and voila but what I'm gonna do is okay I'm gonna I'm gonna connect this one to the phone just so you show you guys how to connect this to your tank and then I'm gonna show you where I have mine so you can see where how inaccessible my actual you know like, like a meter is in my in my place so okay so I got my phone connected now to the computer and we're gonna try to do this together or I should say I'm gonna try to do it with you guys so you guys can see how easy it is to connect um, the actual unit to your network now keep in mind your network has to be on a 2.4 megahertz network it can't be on the 5g it's not gonna work it has to be on the 2.5 just like most Wi-Fi things most Wi-Fi things do not work on the 5g network so I do have the app right here, I downloaded it, it's called the Smart Oil app, and as you can see, it has like a little oil drop, I guess. Um, and as you can see, there's my tank. My tank is there and already connected it, but we're gonna connect this new unit to it. When I send it to you guys, when I send you the unit, I'm gonna reset it so it could be like brand new, so you don't have to worry about this. Um, so let me go ahead and add the unit. Now, press the plus sign on here. Um, now, it basically tells you on the app, it says, okay, you gotta connect to your network, um, you got to make sure your phone stays connected to the network as you can see you know basically there's you know this configuration allows process allows you to connect the new sensor to the Wi-Fi network okay so what we're gonna do is that now um, I'm gonna log into my network here now the next step it tells you is after the device has been switched on for at least five seconds enter configuration mode how do you do that well you open up the device just screw it off and this this part can be a little tricky hopefully it won't be too tricky for you guys and there is a little on and off switch right in here we're gonna flip the switch and a little light should turn on I don't know if you guys can see that little light turned on in there and now what you gotta do is to enter into configuration mode you have to sort of like click this this button up here twice um, and it sort of has to be done in a certain way, otherwise it will not work. Um, as you can see, like the little the little hand is showing you how to do it. So basically, um, to you press the button twice. Here we go. And it's at the same speed too. One, two, and you let it go. Press continue, and now it's going to begin the process of connecting your um, your sensor to the network. Now this can take one minute it could take three minutes it could take five minutes but it'll eventually do it the first time i did i had a little problem trying to get it connected because i couldn't get that one two piece you know to to work the way it's supposed to work um so right now it's connecting to the network and once it connects i'm going to come back and i'll show you the guys the rest of it now right now the the connection has been accepted and your credentials has been accepted and now it, the sensor is establishing connection to your wi-fi so now the configuration is complete and you're done and you can continue now this is when you will install your unit to your tank I'm gonna just hit done over here and basically you can name it whatever you want I mean this one is uh, you know tank whatever now check that out see that it says 218 gallons why because the sensor is sensing what's here on top of my desk I mean I've been moving it around the more you move it around the sensor will start doing different things now you could have different intervals of when do you want um, the sensor to ping. I believe that you could do up to 24 pings per day. So let's just go into configure and I'll show you what the configuration looks like. And here it is. You could change the, the, the sensor name. You can make it whatever you want. If you want to call it, you know, my house uh, tank, whatever it is, you just change here the name, my tank. The intervals, I believe the highest you could get is let's see I think it's 24 I haven't even tested this very much but let's see I think it's 24 so basically yeah so it's 24 for every hour so you could have it ping every hour it could tell you what it is I don't suggest that what the company suggests I think it's about four per day or eight max because you don't want your batteries to run out you know so I mean the batteries are supposed to last you at least six months on the max usage right um then here you will select your tank what kind of tank do you have how many gallons that's very important if you to put the right amount of gallons that you have in your tank so you know exactly how much oil you have in your tank push notifications now these are very cool so you could go in here and you could add notification 
These are all the notifications that you could add so the tank could let you know things that are going on. Now, my particular favorite one is when the tank is low. If the tank falls below a quarter of a, of a gallon, I mean, I'm sorry, a quarter of a tank, um, uh, it will let me know and it will send me an email. Very cool. Um, if your oil is like, you know, if, if for whatever reason your boiler is using too much oil, you could actually have it and say, listen, um, high usage, this, this is not normal. You know, it will send you either a text or an email. There's no extra pay for this. This is part of the app. This is part of the service. This is part of your unit. Low battery. If the sensor is not working, it'll tell you the sensor is not working. Again, you have all these different options. All you got to do is basically fill out your email and it'll send you this information to your phone, wherever you at. I love that. That's what I really love about the unit. Um, you can put your address um, and, and, and that's it. And you could have more than one tank. So in this particular case, I mean, I have two tanks, but you could have more than one tank. You know, you could say, you know, you have three tanks. Sometimes they have tanks that are interconnected with each other. You could do that. Now, what I part I don't understand is why aren't oil companies offering this service or this unit to their customers? They could have it so it sends them a little ping when the customer's tank is low. I don't understand. Anyways, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you where it is in my tank and I'm going to give you my final verdict now. Okay, guys, so I'm recording this with my iPhone because I didn't want to, you know, take off the camera and bring it over and put a light on it. iPhone is good enough for what it is. So behind this wall here, as you can see, I'm still fixing up my basement, um, is my oil tank. Now remember that every time I had to go check to see how much oil I have, I have to go to the little access door and check. But now, is it locked? Uh, no, it's not locked. So, but now I could go, and there it is. There is my smart oil gauge in, on my tank. Very cool. I love this. You know, like you know, I mean, that saves me so much more trouble. You know, like trying to get in there, trying to figure out how much oil I have left. And there is my little gauge. I don't have to never look at that. Um, probably the only time I'm gonna have to go in there is probably to change the the, the batteries in a couple of months, maybe a year, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll figure out once the batteries run out, but look, right in there, I don't have to worry about it, I don't have to see it, close the door, and it's done. So as you guys can see, it's a little bit pain in the butt to try to go in that little trap door, to go look at the gauge, you know, and God forbid I had to change that gauge when it was in there, you know, to take it out was a pain in the butt because the, the little piece that goes in there goes in and then it drops in and it's basically a little bubble that floats inside the tank now I don't have to worry about any of that all the information I need is on my phone but wait it gets better <laughs> yes it does as you guys know I'm I love I love anything to do with smart homes and um, let me see if I can get my phone cam oh there's my phone camera right there okay cool let me see if I can get Alexa to tell me how much oil is left. Alexa, ask Smart Oil Gauge how much oil I have left. Let's see if she knows. Come on, Alexa. This has 128 gallons. My tank 11,297,087 has 218 gallons. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes, Alexa. When will I need my next oil order? Project Bruce is burning roughly 7.7 .7 gallons per day and Ooh, we estimate it will drop below a quarter tank around 8 days from now. My tank 11,297,087 is indeterminate. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, thank you, Alexa. So as you can see, how cool is that? Like, Project Bruce is burning roughly 7.7 okay, Alexa, stop. per day. Stop. <laughs> so how cool is that? Goodbye. Um, I basically could ask her, like to say I'm in the kitchen and I want to know how much oil is left. I could ask her how much oil is left in my tank. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. I mean, guys, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this very small review. I want to thank the guys at um, Connected Consumer Fuel for sending me the unit, um, for letting me basically give this away to one of you guys. Um, and I'm going to leave the link in the description uh, for you guys to get the unit. Now, you could 
get it at Amazon, but you can also get it at their website. And like I said before, if you ever need any help with your unit, these guys will help you out. I mean, they will, they'll go above and beyond. When I first started and I couldn't get a sync to my phone or to my network, I sent them a shout out an email and they wrote back like about 15, 20 minutes letting me know, basically, you know, you gotta do the one and the two and it connects. Um, I love it and that's why I wanted to do a review. So I'm gonna be giving this unit away. Um, basically, th let's do this. Why don't you, if you share this video, Basically put the link of where you shared it in the comments and then we we'll just pick somebody and send them You know, I'll send you the oil gauge guys. Thanks for watching. You've been watching LG TV I am Juan Granos. You can find me on Instagram Los Granos. You can find me on Facebook Los Granos. You can find me on Twitter Los Granos. You can find me on YouTube Los Granos. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe Leave a thumbs up and share. I'll see you guys next time. Peace